the most part, hearing the actors uh, recite the dialogue was kind of a bizarre and humbling experience. You know, when you get actors and actresses like Olivia Wilde and Bruce Boxland are back into the studio and hear them really reprising their roles and really enjoying what they're doing and, you know, sort of becoming one with that character, it does put a sort of lump in your throat. Eradicating this virus has to be the priority. Flynn, you should leave the grid. It's an unnecessary risk being here while we resolve the situation. After we all left at the end of the original Tron movie, we were all the young Turks that took over Encom from uh, old Mr. Dillinger. It wouldn't be a party without a gate crasher. Stop her before she gets too far. The characters in the story of a movie, you're concentrating on interaction between people in a world that is very contained, whereas in a video game, you're interacting with the audience. I like the fact that I can play with the words and I can sit there and I can hear it back immediately and if I don't like it, you know, you change it up a little bit and you can kind of work around the, the lines. I like that kind of pliability with the words, whereas if you're doing a scene on camera, you really have to kind of dive into the script and listen to the other person. It's a totally different element. Time for a new course. Find a service tunnel. You'll be able to move through the city subsystem undetected. When you play the game, you're guided by Korra who not only kind of aids you in teaching you how to use your weapons, also gives you clues as to how to move through the grid faster and how to find your way. She's very kind of wise and experienced at the same time as being this really enthusiastic kind of coach. No entry without proper authorization. Fine, then I'll get authorization. Greetings. Abraxas is just full of hatred and anger and fury. And he wants to destroy everyone else. The timing couldn't be better because it's something that everybody can relate with now. I mean, we're living in a very, very computerized generation where everybody understands computers. There's a certain element of finding your identity, where you stand, who you are. We're all eternally that way. In many ways, that adolescence never leaves us. And we're all still struggling, no matter what age you are, to find out, who am I really? Abraxas is angry, twisted. So I believed in the joy of, of, of causing pain to other people. It's your time. Embrace it. When you see Radia's performance and you see Cora's performance in our cinematics, it brings it all home and brings that humanity. And that's bringing the geekiness and the humanity and trying to tie those together.